<laughs> Wait, are you are you writing a story, dear aspirator? Oh, you found the story. <laughs> Wait, we need a fire. We need a fire. Come on. Can we make a story time? Okay. Let's use my awesome match. Okay, time for a story. Ah. Just one second. Oh. Okay, kids, are you all ready for the story time? Are you ready? Hmm? Are you? Right. And here we go. Runaway pancake. When a pancake heard this, wait, what is it? That's not even. That's not even the start of the story. Dear respirator, that's not the start. What are you doing? We have to do the whole story. Here, the pancake, Norway. Oh, damn, it's a bit long. <laughs> but they're all kind of. Wait, somebody researched the story. Really? Somebody really did research that story? That's. Okay, I, I know the Norwegian one. Once upon a time, there was a good housewife who had 700 children. One day she was busy frying pancakes for them, and this time she had used new milk in the making of them. One was lying in a pan, frizzling away. Ah, so beautiful and thick. <laughs> it was a pleasure to look at it. The children were standing round the fire, and the husband sat in a corner and looked on. Oh, give me a bit of pancake butter. I am so hungry, said one child. Ah, do, dear mother, said the second. Ah, do, dear, good mother, said the third. Ah, do, dear, good, kind mother, said the fourth. Ah, do, dear, good, kind, nice mother, said the fifth. Ah, do, dear, good, kind, nice, sweet mother, said the sixth. Ah do, dear, good, kind, nice, sweet, darling mother, said the seven. Oh, they're such bitches. <laughs> and thus they were all begging for pancakes, the one more pettily than the other, because they were so hungry and such good little children. Yeah, just beat them. No, don't beat children. <laughs> oh, yes, children, dear, wait a bit, it turns until it turns itself. She answered, she ought to have said, until I turn it, and then you shall all have pancakes, beautiful pancakes, made of new milk. Only look how thick and happy it lies there. When a pancake heard this, it got frightened, and all of a sudden it turned itself and wanted to get out of a pan. But it fell down in it again, and on the other side, and when it had been fried a little on that side, too, it felt a little stronger in her back, jumped out of the floor, uh, jumped out on the floor, and rolled away like a wheel, right through the door and down the road. Hello! cried the good wife, and away she ran after it, with the frying pan in one hand and the ladle in the other, as fast as she could, 
and the children behind her, while the husband came limping after, last of all. Jam, jam, lazy husbands. Hello, won't you stop? Catch it! Stop it! Hello there! The all screamed. The one louder than the other, trying to catch it on the run, but a pancake rolled and rolled, and before long, it was so far ahead that it could not see it. But a pancake was much, but much smarter on its legs than any of them. When it had rolled a time, it met a man. Good day, pancake," said the man. Well met, many penny," said the pancake. Dear pancake," said the man. Don't roll so fast, but wait a bit and let me eat you. When I have run away from Goody Poody and your husband and seven squalling children, I must run away from you too, Manny Penny, said the pancake, and rolled on and on until it met a hen. Good day, pancake, bark, said the hen. Good day, Henny Penny, said the pancake. My dear pancake, bark. Don't roll so fast, bark, bark. <laughs> but wait a bit and let me eat you, bark, said the hen. <laughs> when I have run away from Goody Puddy and the husband and seven squalling children, and from Manny Penny, I must run away from you too, Henny Penny. Wait. Don't you go in sleep mode. Set a pancake and rolled on like a wheel down the road. Then it met a cock. Good day, pancake. Good got a goo, said the pock, <laughs> cock. Good day, cocky lucky, said the pancake. My dear pancake, uh -uh, don't roll so fast, but wait a bit and let me eat you, said the cock. Really, what were they drinking? What were they smoking? Can I have these rocks, please? They must be amazing. Maybe it was like the first LSD trial, I don't know. When I have run away from Goody Puddy and her husband and seven squalling children, from Manny Penny and Henny Penny, I must run away from you too, Cocky Lucky, and said a pancake and rolled and rolled as fast as it could. When it had rolled a long time, it met a duck. Good day, pancake, said the duck. Good day, Ducky Lucky, said the pancake. My dear pancake, don't roll so fast, but wait a bit and let me eat you, said the duck. When I have run away from Goody Puddy and her husband and seven squalling children, from Manny Penny and Henny Penny and Cocky Lucky, I must run away from you too, Ducky Lucky, said the pancake, and with that it fell to rolling and rolling as fast as it ever could. When it had rolled a long, long time, it met a goose. Good day, pancake, said the goose. Good day, goosey poosey, said the pancake. My dear pancake, don't roll so fast, but wait a bit and let me eat you said the goose. Well, I guess you can guess how the story is going to progress from here. When I have run away from Goody Puddy and the husband and seven squalling children, from Manny Penny and Henny Penny and Cocky Lucky and Ducky Lucky, I must run away from you too, Goosey Poosey, said a pancake, and away it rolled. So when it had rolled a long, very long time, it met a gander. Good day, pancake, said the gander. Good day, Yander Pander, said the Pancake. My dear Pancake, don't roll so fast, but wait a bit and let me eat you, said the Gander. When I have run away from Goody Puddy and to Husband and seven squalling children, from Manny Penny and Henny Penny and Cocky Lucky and Ducky Lucky and Goosey Poosey, I must run away from you too, Gander Pander, said the Pancake and rolled and rolled as fast as it could. When it had rolled on a long, long time, it met a pig. Good day, Pancake, said the pig. Good day, Piggy Wiggy, said the pancake, and began to roll faster on ever, ever. Nay, wait a bit, said the pig. You needn't be in such a hurry, Scary. We two can walk quietly together and keep each other company through the wood, because they say it isn't very safe there. The pancake thought there might be something in there, and so they walked together through the wood. But when they had gone some distance, they came to a brook. The pig was so fat it wasn't much trouble for him to swim across, but the pancake couldn't get over. Sit on my snout, said the pig, and I will ferry you over. The pancake did so. Oof, oof, grunted the pig and swallowed the pancake in one gulp. And as the pancake couldn't get any farther, well, you see, we can't go on with the story any farther either. What the fuck was that? What the fuck is that? What 
the fuck is this? <laughs> oh my god. What the heck was that? I hope you all enjoyed the story time. Story time over. We must get back to Breath of the Wild.